more fuel for the burning barricades of Kiev. What started as a pro-European Union protest has now become a revolutionary movement trying to bring down the Ukrainian government. Hidden behind this curtain of thick black smoke from the burning tires are rows of riot police guarding the hill that leads up to Ukraine's national parliament. At times it resembles medieval warfare with catapults and priests praying as the fires burn. The conflict has casualties. 17-year-old Mikhail Niskoguz was captured by the police. He claims he was severely beaten as he walked through a long alley of riot officers. He says he was then stripped naked and cut with knives. Their eyes were shining like drug addicts. They were really enjoying beating me. They said it was for their colleague who's been in coma for nearly two months. On the barricades, a group of men with fireworks stood ready like an artillery battery. I asked what they were trying to achieve by the violence. The main aim is the liberation of the nation. As long as I have been alive, we have always been repressed. If along the way we can integrate with Europe, that's good. If not, no problem. The use of plastic bullets and rubber pellets by the police has infuriated the protesters. Europe, please help us to get rid of Yanukovych, this woman said. This morning, the Ukrainian Prime Minister, Mykola Azarov, said a compromise with the opposition was possible. But he said that what he called anti-constitutional activity should stop. Then, one of the opposition leaders, the former world boxing champion Vitaly Klitschko, managed to negotiate a truce at the front line. Though nobody knows how long that will hold. Daniel Sanford, BBC News, Kiev.